About 30% of all women suffer from urinary incontinence. Many are just too embarrassed to seek help for the problem. Dr. Frank Sirisano of Boca Raton Regional Hospital joins us this noon to tell us about some treatment options. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Lauren. This can be a touchy one to get into and, and talk about, so let's start with the basics. What is it? Urinary incontinence is an involuntary loss of urine, which can occur at socially unacceptable times. Mm -hmm. And generally it's caused by prolapse of the bladder beyond its normal position in the pelvis. It can also be caused by neurologic conditions such as Parkinson's disease. Okay, all right, but there are options. There are things that women can do to solve this rather embarrassing problem. Historically, surgery has been the dominant option. Women can undergo a surgical lift or a bladder lift, mm -hmm. if you will. More recently, there's another option, electrical stimulation, that's becoming more available. And what is that? Electrical stimulation is more or less the use of a low frequency current to try and suppress irregular bladder contractions. Okay. And, and how does it work? How, uh, I, I see you brought some things here to show us. In general, uh, women can trial a device called an electrical stimulator, mm -hmm. which is, you can see, the size of a small cell phone. And they just wear this? They wear this on their belt or something like that? Correct. Okay. They can wear this on their belt and they can actually adjust the frequency of the electrical stimulation. Okay. And in this way they can try and control their own bladder symptoms and improve their control. Hmm. And if this works, this sort of trial device, if you will, if this works, then, then what happens? If women are able to demonstrate improvement over a three-day trial at home with this device, they may consider a more permanent alternative, which is a microchip. Okay. This chip can actually be inserted under the skin and can help regulate their bladder control on a long-term basis. That's really interesting. Let's just hold that up so people can see. And before our segment, you, you told me you likened this sort of to a, a pacemaker for the heart. Correct. Many women, you know, as they age, may have irregular stimulation or contractility of mm -hmm. the heart as part of the aging process. And they may be a candidate for a pacemaker, usually placed within the chest wall. This is a, a similar device. It's, it's made to uh, help stimulation of uh, the bladder. And chronic stimulation can not only help control their symptoms, but it actually has been demonstrated to improve their strength and tone of the bladder. And so, bottom line, if, if this works, this stimulation method works, it could be an alternative to surgery then? Could be an alternative. And actually is currently the best non-surgical option, with over 50% of women demonstrating improvement with just the temporary device. All right. Wow. Really interesting. I, I really learned something from this. I hope you all did at home. Thank you so much Thank you for, uh, for the information. Boca Raton Regional Hospital, by the way, sponsors our expert and underwrites our Ask the Doctor feature.